Ten things I've learned in the search for dark matter. One, there are some things known only by their absence. Arms in unlit rooms we feel reaching for us through every inch of emptiness that every rational thought says is proof enough that dark matter is a unicorn, a dragon, a phoenix winter bound behind the iron gates of wood stoves whispering, now you see me and leaving, not even footprints to find proof of play in no bird song, calling in cries of the most noble truths are often hidden ones. Two, in the search for dark matter, answers always seem to lie a mile or more beneath the surface away from a planet awash in a spray of familiar particles saying the same old things about the sun. It's hard to see anything except what's right in front of you when the lights are on. But three, when the lights are turned down low, everything you ever thought you knew can be suddenly undone by a smile from an unknown particle at the far side of a crowded room. Four, in the search for dark matter, we will nevertheless find ourselves sometimes like the universe growing colder and distant with drawing from life in an ever-expanding everything, every moment holds dwindling in its chest the promise of kindling. Even fire burns out. Five. In the search for dark matter, it's way too easy to lose sight of what's bright in front of you wanting to hold you close in the black hole evening when your breathing slows and dreaming in distorted rhymes. All you really want is to be held. Six. Sometimes, I think I know what it feels like to be dark matter. Endlessly holding whole galaxies together, afraid that in your absence there's nothing, not even gravity enough to keep them from casting their solar systems off like casualties in a conflict where all you want is to put your hands on something steady that doesn't seem to be there. So, seven, learn to live unsteadily in unfamiliar territory because eight, when less than one percent of the universe is seen or heard from, it is essential we pay attention to the 99% of everything else that screams in outer space. Nine. There are forces there, though often ignored, they smith light like wrought iron around galaxies, posing questions of the constellations whose answers raise only more questions. Because ten, in the search for dark matter, the search is the only thing that really matters. Everything else is just more uncertainty. More supposition, more dark. Power.